Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast. I'm your host, Derek White. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. We just wanted to take a second and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturday is sponsored by GhostBed. GhostBed's been a loyal sponsor of the Drinking Bros Podcast for over four years. Everybody loves GhostBed. I love GhostBed. I'm the proud owner of two ghost bed mattresses and two pillows and right now if you buy a mattress from ghost bed you get two free pillows and if you go to ghostbed.com slash drinking bros you can save 25 percent. that's ghostbed.com slash drinking bros grab yourself a mattress two free pillows get some good sleep enjoy the show ah dude get, is there any way we can get like can you put sound effects into our podcast 100 percent can What's I that? Have room is for like sixteen of them. Those are those buttons. Yeah. Oh, we need a round of applause then. I think this I, is one. You know, I'm, this is. I'm gonna guess. Wait. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm laughing. not a joke. Yeah. No. no, no, we'll figure it out. We won't. Uh, yeah, but I like a round of applause. Like sometimes I walk into the gym and people will look at me, and I just I tell them I'm like, wow, I was really expecting <laughs> more of a more of an applause there when I came in. You know, doesn't it feel good when people clap for you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it does. Anyways, I'm Derek Whita. Joining me as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. How you doing this morning, Owen? How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I saw your Instagram this morning. You yeah, hit, you're uh, you're back in. What'd you do? Yeah, I did. You want your round of applause after I this? I do don't want you? my round yeah. of applause. Okay, yeah. I worked hard for <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did my first two unbroken miles in God seven years. So two unbroken. No, my two unbroken miles under nine minutes a mile. Yeah. Okay. So I'm hitting like eight, eight fifty a, a minute. Oh wait. So what was your time? Your two miles. It's time. like eighteen, eighteen and some change. Oh okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's still. It still sucks. It's but still, it's yeah, better. it's very. Yeah. You're still. You're still <laughs> like. Man, I just that was uh, in the army. That was kind of like the cutoff time. Eighteen oh, fifty yeah. something for, for the two mile, people. and some just like the nasty motherfuckers would be straggling in with their fucking yep, their walking. pal and purple, and it's like, how the fuck are you in the military? Yeah, that's yeah. that's I'm funny. I'm that guy now, so yeah. I'm happy about it. It's funny, yeah. Um, no, that's <laughs> cool. So, what are, what are these? What are these running shoes you have? I, I saw your shoes. They're like bright blue. What br- what brand did you go? They're with? Under Armour. What, they're, dude? Yeah. I fucking hate Under Armour. You I don't what? know why I hate Under Armour, but I hate Under Armour. Why? I'm, I don't. I don't. I said. I just said I don't know why. Don't don't you just hate things sometimes, and you don't know why? Yeah. Or like so like because so I've hated Under Armour for about 20 years. So you're just like when, when they, hater. when they came out, it was just like yeah. that skin tight shit. Oh, and there yeah, was a yeah. certain type. Like there stuff. was a certain type yeah. of person who wore under armor. Yep. And back then I was like, fuck you. Not that and guy. I was wearing like Everlast shit, <laughs> you know, like I was this like 135 <laughs> pound fucking 15 year old wearing baggy ass OG lifter shit as if I had earned that or something, right. you know, like, but Hey, they say dress for the job you want, not the job you have. They do say that. <laughs> That's fucking great advice. <laughs> I, I have, I have one surviving shirt from back then. <laughs> you know, some people who say, call it poser. I just right. say dress for the job you want, not right. the job you have. I'm, yeah. pr- I'm planning. Yeah. Planning you went with Under Armour. I huh? did. Fuck you know that. why? Cause I am susceptible to great marketing on Instagram and they had an awesome ad. You got influenced. Huh? I did. I got influenced. You got influenced yeah. for a hundred fifty dollar pair of shoes. Apparently, mm-hmm. they're Bluetooth and they sync up with your phone. But I don't use that feature of them. I just liked them because they were blue. Yeah. All right. I, I I when I when I when I was running, I stuck to Asics and New Balance. Yep. I'm usually Asics. Yeah. Yep. Those are nice. Yeah. So that's cool. Owen's running. I'm running. Uh, I had a pretty good workout this morning. I'm on my deload week now. Right. You know. So as if you guys are listening, these these shows come out. After the fact, after today is today is Monday for us as of recording this, yep. and I just started my deload week. So, so like this, um, I'm in like a three month training cycle. Which week are you in? Because you, st- I think it's like week five or so. Okay. So we're doing like three, four week phases with yeah. a deload, and uh, I was sad to find out that my deload doesn't mean less time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lighter loads, you know? I was like, oh, fuck, man. Oh, yeah. I still yeah. Do that that's okay. Reps. It felt good. Stacy worked out in the garage with me this morning. That was pretty cool. So I got a sapper for you. Get Give in, it to me. Let's get into the show. We're going, we're going sapper, uh-huh. not slapper. I've been listening to this fucking band. They're, they're, they're my most played band on Spotify. And okay. it's just like, so this is, this is, this is emo 1000. 
That's the name of H- the band? No, no, no. This oh. like the, the, the genre of music, <laughs> I would call it like emo, super emo 1000 max HD premium. It is as emo as you can fucking get, but okay. it's fucking great. The band is called La Dispute. It's like, it's LA space dispute. Okay. All right. My favorite song of theirs is it, it's a song called There You Are Hiding Place off of their album Panorama. Okay. It's just fucking amazing, dude. They, they have so many, um, such... Such good songs. There's a song called Nine. They just spell it out, N I N E. Mm-hmm. And uh, the album version is all right. But there's a there's a YouTube, a live YouTube performance that they did when in what looks like somebody's parents' living room. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's just fucking amazing, dude. Um, it's like, do you know like like maybe it's like s- musical slam poetry type stuff. There's because like okay. some of his some of the songs, it's like he's telling a story, and he kind of whines uh-huh. sings and screams it's just fucking good dude it's it's odd emo me this whole this whole album panorama i can actually work out to it is it I music because when you say slam poetry slam poetry i don't picture dude like, it's, it's great music if, if you okay so like pull it up listen to uh um start with such small hands that's yeah. a song of theirs such small hands and then dude yeah <laughs> it's so it's, tiny yeah yeah i think there's a porn star whose name is small hands <laughs> It's a dude. I, I I actually I think I saw it on <laughs> on Twitter, the internet yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> small hands because it was like it was something someone someone featuring small hands. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> but that's the sapper, dude. I've been listening to them fucking not. I've been going through an emo kick. I even busted out the used. Were you ever into like emo bands Never. or anything? What do you listen to? Um. Oh yeah, because you try to be uh you try to be uh DJ Owen. Yeah, no, I was. What was your was, DJ name back in the day? Did you did you pick one? Or I didn't no? pick one. Yeah. I wasn't so much into the DJing part as I wanted to like make the music. Sure, but no, you had to I, have an artist name. Yeah, I didn't get that far in didn't the process. Get, oh, okay. no. <laughs> step one: pick a name. <laughs> fuck, I'm out. Fuck I'm out. Done. I'm out. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll jump to step two: get good at music. I can't do you that either. I can't gear do that for either. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. No, yeah. I was big into punk. In uh, in like high school, and like what kind of punk? Because uh, like well, when people so, say punk, yeah, I don't know if that means like aggressive punk, like so like late minor 80s. threat from like really? the eighties, yeah. social so, distortion stuff like that. Yeah. But then I was also into um, oh man, like rancid and and see, I must have been into stuff. like pop punk. AFI. Yeah, really? dude, I never liked AFI. I saw but, them um, live, and that dude actually walked out on the crowd and just stood on people, and then like walked his way back to the stage. Pretty fun show. That's cool. Um, so that's my sapper. A lot of dispute. It's fucking great, man. Cool. It, especially if you like emo music and like old school emo emo. Yep. Any of you out there listening who like that shit who have not heard of Law Dispute? Let me see how many. How many? Let's see. Yeah, they have a quarter million monthly listeners on Spotify. Nice. So that's pretty good. It's not. Yeah. So their 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 song "Such Small Hands" has. 13 million plays. So it's not like they're fucking unknown, but right. they're, you know, definitely that if you're in that genre, you're not, <laughs> you're not popping off on the charts. You know right. what I mean? So that's our slapper. Check it out. The band is law dispute. The song is there. You are hiding place off the album panorama. Let's get into the fucking show. Let's do it. Yeah, dude. Today I, I wanted to take you, we had to do it eventually. Yep. Um, just take, take, take one episode and specifically talk about supplements. Yeah. Now we've we've kind of over the weeks, you know, like interviewing people. This hasn't been like a strictly fitness podcast, but we're gonna bring it back. Yep. Um, to strictly fitness here because I mean supplements. Supplements to me are a huge part of my regiment. You mm-hmm. know, and uh, he, he, here's here's something that is that is um, important to me. I call it the trifecta of fitness. It's the, the, it's the trifecta. The three pillars. You know, just like think, I think, and when I, when I say trifecta, I think about the Zelda triangle. Oh yeah. You know? okay. so yeah, it's, yeah. it's the trifecta. So you got, you got training, nutrition, and supplementation, yep. training, nutrition, supplementation. If you do those three things right, you're going to fucking do really cool shit. Right. And, and the, the thing is, is, um, I don't put a hierarchy on those three things. They're all equally. I don't say that training is more important than supplements and nutrition is more important than training and blah, blah, blah. They're all equally important to me because they're all equally important. Cause yeah. you know, some people are like, 
oh, it's all about the diet. Abs are made in the kitchen and blah, blah, blah. Well, like maybe that's true, but you know, it, it, they all go together. You know, it's, it's, it's the trifecta of fitness, training, nutrition, and supplements. And um, it's interesting when, when you talk supplements um, or you can talk about training and people will listen. Yeah. Just with an open mind, open ears. And you can talk about nutrition and people will listen with an open mind and open ears. But as soon as you talk about supplements, Turn into they, get, they get skeptical, right? They get skeptical because like, you know, it's like, wait, why are you trying to take my money? And, and it, like they get defensive because there's, they like, there is a bunch of bullshit. Out there. There's a lot of snake oil. Fuck for fucking sure. Bunch of bullshit. But also there's this weird thing. And I, 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 uh, I use my mom in this example. People all of a sudden, when you talk about supplements, people all of a sudden give a shit about what they're putting in their body. Right. Cause like, you know, this mother, like somebody will literally like go to McDonald's, mm -hmm. get a happy meal or whatever the fuck grown ups eat there, yep. go home, see my post about supplements and ask me and scrutinize me about what's in the protein shake that I'm pitching them. Like specific you know? ingredients. It's like, did you fucking ask the person at McDonald's what the ingredients are in your fucking happy Big Mac? Nope. No. But now you're scrutinizing me over a fucking protein powder that is good for you and will help you accomplish your goals. It's really weird. And I called my mom out on this <laughs> shit one time because I told her, I was like, Ma, you need to start taking this multivitamin. Right. And she was like, what's in that? What's in that? I don't know. What's in that? I was like, Ma, see that bag of jelly beans you got right there on your fucking coffee table? Did you ask the person at Cub Foods what the ingredients are in those jelly beans? Then why are you giving me shit right now? Because, you know, like <laughs> I'm trying to give you vitamins. Right or tell you to take vitamins and you're scrutinizing me over this, but not those fucking jelly beans. So it's really weird. Um, when you talk about supplements, there's, it's just like friction. Yeah. And, and for me, I always have to decide, do I want to introduce that friction? So I don't talk about supplements too much on Instagram or Facebook anymore. For one, like I've talked about them a lot Yep, over the years. The and, info's and, out there. Yeah, and, and you know, like talking about supplements isn't something I enjoy doing too often, you know? Right. And, and yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, but um, uh, it's just, it's controversial and it shouldn't be. And <laughs> it really shouldn't be. It's just, it's just talking supplements, but I get it because there's all these fucking, this like Herbalife and Arbon and period yeah. schemes and just like fucking, you don't know what to trust. And so, um, the point of this show is like, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk about supplements and I'm going to talk about my history mm -hmm. with supplements over the years. And, um, the cool thing is, is I've been with one brand now for five years, yeah, five plus years, exclusive to one brand. Well, like 90 some odd percent exclusive to one brand. And I think that's important and stuff like that. But before we get there, let's just start at the, I you want to, do you, you're not a supplement guy, are you? I take, uh, I take some of the shit. I some give of the you. stuff you give yeah. me, yeah. I take the greens and reds um, for sure, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then protein. I'm not a big pre workout guy or anything. Really? Yeah, yeah. You got them anxieties. Yep. Yeah. So I um um dude I I started I started taking supplements right away when I was 17. Yeah. When I started working out, you know, I remember I remember when it happened. I um I was at my high school gym. Like okay. the, the weight room. Yeah. I didn't even really go to school, but I went to school after school. <laughs> Four I'd be gone all day and then I'd fucking go <laughs> to the, go to the gym. Here guys. Yeah. And there was a dude in there. His name was Matt Wasson. And this was like the Wasson family where I'm from. And during this time there, there, this, there was like at your high school, there's a couple families with, that where their name means. Oh something. yeah. And it's only because they never moved like three to four brothers, you know? And so <laughs> it's got the older brother than the next and then okay. the younger. So there was like the Wassons and the Beeries and all these fucking cool families. But Doyle rules. Yeah, for real. It was that kind of shit. But these, 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 some of these guys were pretty legit. And Matt Wasson was, he was a fucking tank dude. Yeah. He was super cool. And, and, and he just said, he's like, he's like, you know, are you taking pre-workout? I was like, Oh no, I don't know anything about that. He's like, you need to start taking some shit. I was like, okay. <laughs> you need some stimulants. Yeah, so I started taking hydroxy cut. It oh, was like a, fuck. Like a, but it was like a thermogen, you know? Yeah. Dude, I still to this day love the feeling of thermogens. And I don't use them um, for the fat loss uh -huh. purpose, but like the fucking caffeine. Like fen, the, fen back then or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Ephedrine. Yeah. Ephedrine, yeah. I, yeah, so, so for, you know, probably up until... About five years ago when I started, you know, like, so I've been with First Form now for five years. So that is, so 17 years, my, so for 12 years, 
I just kind of bounced around. Just trying just, stuff? Yeah, bounced around. And and it was always kind of like, and it was annoying because like I would take a product for like three months, but then it would get discontinued because yeah. of the shit. And you just, you're, you're kind of, you're always walking into GNC and you're like, hey man, what's good? But then like, turns out, I trusted a lot of dumb motherfuckers back in the day. Oh like yeah. GNC employees. If, if you work at GNC and you're one of the good ones, cool, but you know, <laughs> or, and not, it's not GNC specific. Like, you know, that's like who we had vitamin shop yeah. type. Anyway, people. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're just, dumb. They, you know, they just get fed the lines. Yep. And but what point they, they just, uh, Oh, you're trying to get big here. Yeah. You need this. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. I'll like, take it. Take the, here, the, here's a testosterone booster, yep. but it's legal. So it can't be good, but and it's you're 20. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. For real. Yeah. It's just like, and, and not, and, and they're out of shape right. themselves, you know? So hey, thanks for the advice. Yeah. It was, it was weird. I just, I sort of bounced around and, um, it was, it was kind of, Dude, I, used I to like what I do now because it's just consistent and I'm a part of something, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm a part of this brand mm-hmm. and I'm a part of this community and it, it's easier for me to be consistent. And so one of the, you know, it's like, um, uh, I think that's, um, really important, but, but, um, to talk about, to still talk about like back in the day, um, I have always, always, always used supplements. It's just, it seemed like a no brainer to me. You know, I remember right. fucking dude back in the day, like when I was 17, 18, all there really was, was like GNC hundred percent whey protein mm-hmm. at the time. And it was just, that was it. And yep. now there's like isolate and fucking what we'll talk about later, like really cool versions, different kinds of protein. But back then I was like hundred percent whey protein and really I just fucking like a big cup and water stir it with a butter knife and it was all curdled at the top still, you know, cause yep. it was just thick and nasty. And it's, I'd fucking remember plugging my nose and just like choking it down, chugging, yeah. and choking it down. Like, I'm going to be so fucking healthy, you know, <laughs> like, you know, just put like weird fucking shit. I've done it all in supplements. I've taken, you know, um, test boosters and HGH, or like growth hormone that you can buy legally online. So it's not the real fucking thing. Like right. first, like don't take fucking test boosters or any quote unquote anabolic something that you can get in a vitamin store. Like yeah. fuck that shit. <laughs> They're constantly changing recipes and, and yeah. skirting or, around rules. It just, if it's legal, it can't be what you want it to be. But right. anyways, I just, I just, I've been taking supplements since I was 17 um, some of the funnier things I, I really liked, um, you know, like, uh, like protein bars and stuff like that. I've, I've eaten a shit ton of protein bars. Yeah. And when I, when I was in Iraq back then I would, um, it was muscle milk had protein bars oh, yeah. and those were pretty good. Yeah. I like those. And, uh, it was funny. Cause like when on the deployment I got shot on, we had like an AC in our platoon area. And so like my protein bars were just melted as fuck. And I would put the protein bar in the AC for a few hours and then eat right. it and stuff. It was just kind of like, don't fucking touch my protein bar. They're like, hey, who's protein? Bar? I was like, I will fucking wreck you, dude. I will you kill know? you. Yeah. So um, so I just, you know, I've been taking supplements since I was 17. And uh, and that's what we're gonna talk about. So I I don't um I've studied supplements mm-hmm. in the past, but it was like a long time ago. And so supplements are kind of this is an area where where I talk about something. And I don't remember the specifics of how I reached my conclusion. Right. It's just that I know I reached my conclusion. So yeah. if I tell somebody like, hey, you need to take creatine. And they're like, why? It's like, because some somewhere along in my life, <laughs> I learned. I learned why? That, that a motherfucker <laughs> needs to take creatine, you know? But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Trust that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, for, dude, that's, that's re- like, we don't have enough brain space nope. to remember every motherfucking detail, you know? No, I'm short um, on, I'm short on yeah. space. So I, I'm going to talk about, um, um, some of the supplements I take and stuff and maybe down the road we'll get Stacy on to help us talk about some other things. Cause she actually like, she, she listens to Joe Rogan mm-hmm. podcast totally. a lot. Yep. And, uh, he, has had this guest on quite a few times, this female nutritionist or something like that. And she talks about all these supplements. So Stacy's really big into like vitamin C and vitamin D and, you know, having xylitol in your chewing gum and things like that. Or she's really smart on these things. Yeah. But I'm like, Hey, let's build some fucking muscle. Let's get big. Let's get some fucking muscle juice. Yeah. But the, you know, so, um, yeah, Joe Rogan talks about a lot. Uh, he's, he's got a company, I think. 
isn't he like the owner of on it or something? They do a lot of, I don't know what his affiliation stuff. with on it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, um, let's talk about hangups. Okay. When I tell some, like, what are, what are people's hangups with supplements? Here's a big one. I, so I've been selling supplements for five years. Yep. Not super. I don't push it super hard. Yep. You know, but I've been selling supplements for five years and here's a, here's, here's a hangup. When you tell somebody about supplements, I'm like, Hey, get the post-workout stack of microfactor. And they're like, okay, wait, that's $150 a month. So money, money is a Money's big, big hangup for people on with supplements. And I get that or like, they're not free. Right. But I remember, um, I was broke until I was like 30 years old. And then I was still kind of broke for a while. Mostly broke. I'm 34 now. We, st- we started, I started making good money a year ago. Yeah. Okay. So especially, especially in my twenties, I was fucking broke. I you know, I was, I was living off of between 1500 and $2,000 a month. Okay. You know, yeah. with rent and car and food. Yep. So that's okay. So I wasn't like, uh, I wasn't living in poverty. Right. But I wasn't, I didn't have much fuck off money. Right. But in all of that, I budgeted. I, I used to budget. I, I'd have a notebook and I would write my expenses just so I knew how much money I'd have because I was always overdrawing my bank account by like, if I was only overdrawing my bank account by 50 bucks, that, was a, that was a fucking win, dude. You right. know, I had to make sure I didn't get too deep. Um, but I, I, I budgeted for supplements and I budgeted for gym membership. Well, yeah, you made those a priority. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, make this shit a motherfucking priority. And it's all, you know, people are like, Oh, that's, you know, money's tight. I'm like, where can you make fucking space? Cause it's the same thing when you tell somebody to work out, they're like, I don't have the time. I'm like, no, where can you find the time? Yeah. You know, and you tell somebody like, Hey, you can't spend $150 a month on your health and happiness, right? And your fitness. Where else are you spending you know, money? Make it a fuck. That's the, that's the thing. It's, it's, um, um, you know, like my health and fitness has always been a priority to me because if, if I don't have that, I don't have anything, right? If I don't have me, what do I fucking have? So like first and foremost in my life, I have to take care of my mind, body, soul. If those, if, if, if any of that shit is out of whack, you know, I quit doing everything. Yeah. It affects everything else. Focus on getting that shit squared away. Right. You know, I don't, you know, if me and you have a video to do tomorrow, but I wake up and something's fucky mind, body, soul, yep. I'm like, Oh, and cancel. Okay. I got some shit to deal with here, yeah. you know? And it's, and, um, it, it's, it's cool. We have, we have the freedom to do that. So does everybody else. Mm-hmm. So does everybody else. You know, people are like, um, everything, everything we do is an option available to everybody. Totally. And I, you know, so it's like if money or your job is getting in your way, is getting in the way of your health and fitness. <laughs> I mean, do something th- different. It's, it's your choice, you know, it's your choice. So anyways, uh, money way, money, money is a big hang up for people when it comes to supplements. Supplements are expensive. Like a jug of protein is, you know, a good jug of protein is about 50 bucks. Yeah. And people are like, what? 50 bucks? What the fuck? But it's, so it's 20 grams of protein a day. Just say you take one scoop a day. That's 20 grams of protein a day for 30 days. Mm -hmm. 20 grams of protein is about like 12 ounces of steak. Okay. Imagine if you were, if like price, like, you know, price per gram of protein Oh yeah. If you were doing Super that fucking steak, yeah. yeah, you're doing $30 and, steaks. Yeah. And then you say that, and then some people out there would be like food and protein powder isn't the same. And I'm, my position is, yeah, it is. Like, go fuck protein. yourself. Like shut the fuck up. You know, there's, there's, there's really annoying people with really stupid arguments that are anti supplements, you know, and most of them, like the people, the kind of people who will argue, there's only a couple people who will argue with you about supplements. Or there's a couple different types of people out there who tell people they don't need supplements. And the biggest one, the biggest group of people that say you don't need supplements is steroid users. <laughs> Legit, straight up. I've seen it a million times. And I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know how prevalent steroids were up until like the last two to three years. Right. And now I look around and I'm like, you motherfuckers. Like, no shit. I, 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 I was um, a part of a fitness group on Facebook. Which one? Or don't say. I won't say. But somebody came in and asked, hey, I'm looking for a good pump. 
product. I want to, I want to pump in the gym and, uh, probably just talking about like a pre-workout, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, like arginine or yeah. eggmatine, things like that. Yeah. I, I love a pump. I mm-hmm. love, I love a pump. So I saw this and I was going to answer, but then I saw a fucking response and the response was, came from somebody who was an avid responder and a position of pseudo authority in that group. And this person was a steroid user. Yeah. You know, and he came in and he said, you don't need pump product supplement. You don't need that. You don't need that. Eat more beets. I was like, <laughs> bitch, you're on fucking testosterone, motherfucker. Like you, what are you, where are you getting your pump? You're not getting your pump from beets. You're from getting your beets? pump from fucking testosterone right. and whatever the fuck else you're on. Probably trend and all this other dumb shit. Cause I've seen, you know, I, I watch you grow from, you know, skinny to ripped to fat to ripped. And it seems like, you know, you're in shape as often as you do a fucking cycle. So right. it's seriously like steroid users are huge anti-supplement people. And it's apparently fucking hilarious. huge beet eaters. Yeah. Right. The, the, you know, they're like, that shit doesn't work. Just well, it's like, beats. hey, nothing works as good as fucking steroids. But, you know, it's still it, like steroids <laughs> is taking shit, you know? But fucking dude, beats. yeah, I know. I was, I was, I was fucking annoyed with that. I was like, man, you're such, you're so f-, like, and he's a, yeah. he's a good dude. He's a friend. Yeah. But like that kind of weird stuff, man, you know, like, so a lot of, uh, it's a large group of people who are anti-supplement steroid users, you know? Yeah. And it's not because they know something that we don't it's because steroid users are interesting because they really, we talked about it with Brandon a bit about how some people are, they don't admit it. Right. You know, I actually just today I posted a picture. I didn't see it on Instagram. And, uh, somebody asked me if I was using steroids or not. And they said, no judgment either way. I'm just curious. And I was like, no, perfect question. I was like in my 17 years of fitness, I think acute, like I've accumulated 12 months where I fucked with testosterone. Right. You know? And I was like, right now, and, you know, for a good while, like, I'm natural. All natural. And I said, like, I fucked with testosterone, and it's cool, but it's just not for me. Not your thing. Like, the steroid life isn't for me. And so I, I was like, I was like, I want to say that and be open about it because, you know, like, this, like, my physique is, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's attainable. Naturally, you can get it. You know, fucking if you get the trifecta right, training, nutrition, and supplements, if you get those things right and do them for a long time, you can achieve my physique. And I even said my physique is pretty fucking average as far as like, because I'm in the fitness world. Yeah. And it's so it's pretty average because I'm not on fucking steroids. Yeah. I mean, if I was on, if I, if I match like real fucking steroid use with my work ethic and discipline with food, like, dude. I'd fucking shit on, you know, (laughs) like, but, um, it was, uh, it was important for me to, or it's important. Like, sometimes I say like, I'm natural. And I, and the only reason I say that is because it's like, Hey, this is achievable. You can fucking achieve my level of fitness. Right. Just by doing, doing the three things, you know, training, nutrition, and supplements. So that's, that's, that's one group of people who are fucking anti-supplement. And the other, the other big group of people are just like the people that are anti everything, you know, like the super, I don't want to say vegans, but it's people like that who are just like fucking weird, man. It's like an argumentative type of person. Mm -hmm. Social media has kind of brought that out to to where they are. It's, it's very easy to to share that opinion. We'll just, we'll call them dorks. There's like, (laughs) there's fucking dorks out there. Like you don't fucking need supplements. So that's what they say. You don't need supplements. And so I'm like, Hey, if we're talking about like basic human needs, you don't need shoes, right? You don't need your fucking hat. You don't need that shirt. We don't need to be doing this podcast. A lot of stuff we, don't we don't need, need this phone. We what do we need? Food, water, sleep, shelter. Even that's a luxury. That's you know, like what do you need? Like need to survive. Like what do you right. need? If, if need is a word, <laughs> you know. Yep. So so that that like I destroy their argument with that. They're like, you don't need supplements. I'm like, well, you don't need to be fucking commenting on Instagram via Wi-Fi and smartphone. Okay. So from your couch. So it's just like, can we live our fucking lives and do what we want? And you can leave us the fuck alone. If you don't like supplements, fine. Shut the fuck up. A lot of us do. Okay. So anyways, those are the, those are, those are the people that, um, are anti supplements and I've learned to just not give a fuck about them over the years. So, um, 
But that gets in to the other big hang up. Trust. Mm -hmm. Trust. Trust is a huge, is a huge uh, hang up for people when it comes to supplements because, because of people like that in different opinions. And you go on one website and it's like, take fucking creatine. And you go on another website and it's like, if you take creatine, you're going to grow fucking three titties. You're going to die. Yeah. You're going to have diarrhea yeah. for 10 months and you know, you're not going to get into heaven. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, yeah. So it's just, so it's just like overwhelming information and there's, there's, there's literally pros and cons for every motherfucking thing. Totally. But that, and that's with food too. It's like eat eggs. If you eat eggs, you're going to die. Eat egg whites. No, eat the yolks. Yeah. Drink this milk. No, drink this milk. Nope. Don't drink cow milk. Drink pea milk. Nope. Don't drink pea milk. Drink nut milk. It's just, okay, bring it back in. People like, you don't know what to do. Okay. So, <laughs> so here's, if you're listening to this, here's, here's what I've learned and here's what's worked for me over the years as far as supplements. So, um, I, I, I wrote, I, I wrote this, pick a company, pick a company, learn about the company, not the product. If you, and if you can, if you can get behind a company, a brand, it just, it, you need to trust, you need to trust where you get your supplements from. It changes, it changes the whole fucking experience. It changes it from like, oh, I'm taking a product. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of people like that, that I talk to in the gym and I'm like, oh, what, what, what pre-workout are you on? And they just say, oh, I don't know. I just got something at GNC. I'm like, what the fuck is that? How are you like, you're putting, you're putting all this time and effort into your workout right? and you don't know exactly how you're fueling it. Yeah. Why? Why? Right. You know? And you know, I'm like, how do you like it? They're like, uh, it makes me kind of sick or it's not. I'm like, Yikes. what the fuck? Like give a shit about what you put in your body. Yeah. Give a shit. Like understand. Makes me feel awful. Right. Like, well then you know, fucking take something better. Find someone you trust. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's someone else. There's, there's plenty of good companies out there, but there's plenty of like bad. I think there's a lot of good companies that also can convey the information about their products better than others. And other yeah. ones just come across as just kind of like regurgitating bullet points of, of things. Those are the ones you want to stay away from. Yeah. You know, first yeah. form does a good job of like putting out, um, the info behind the science yeah. of, of why a product works Dude, a certain way. Yeah. So like when, you know, like, so first form is a supplement company, yep. but I don't know of a supplement company that does more work than they do on the education not side, help, not selling supplements, yeah. like with their transformation program. Mm -hmm. and, and like they have this, like they have a, like, it's like, it's almost like first form. So first form is a supplement company, but that's like supplement sales are basically like a side effect or a consequence to what they're spending their time doing. Right. You know, it's fucking where they spend so much time and energy teaching people about training and nutrition. Yep. And that, and that, that, that's big for them. They're like, if somebody writes, if somebody writes first form and they're like, Hey, I'm new to fitness. What supplements do I need? They're going to write back, slow down. How's your nutrition? What training program are you following? Because, you know, first, like, it's, it's not just supplement. Like, let's get all three right. <laughs> yeah. Let's get all motherfucking three right. Supplements ain't going to help if your nutrition's yeah, fucked the up. The trifecta of fitness. So there are there are other companies that I like out there. Um, um, but there's a lot of the big name companies that I don't like. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to really talk about. I'll t I'm here to talk about. I've been exclusive to first form for yep. five years, you know? So I signed on, it's actually, I started using first form December, 2014. Okay. Before I fucking became a sponsored athlete. I became an athlete April, 2015. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I had heard about first form in December, 2014. And right away I started using their products and stuff. And up until then I was taking, I was, I was using like Cellucor and GNC products. Okay. I was using quite a lot of Cellucor because I had some friends that worked um, for Nutribolt, which is the, company that owns Cellucor. Um, so any, I, I like, um, first for, like being, being with first form is, is, has taught me about the, uh, like what an impact brand loyalty makes when it comes to supplements. It's, it's different, man. I'm not just taking protein. I'm taking in, I'm a part of a community. I'm a part of a culture. I'm a part of a shared a people, like a group of people with a shared belief. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just different and it makes it more rewarding in a weird way. Like dude, total fucking bullshit, completely stupid. 
definitely fucking works. <laughs> no, like, but Hey, like it, it, everybody wants to be a part of a community, you know? And I, and I know the people who develop these products and make these products. Yeah. And I know what their priorities are when they make these products. And I trust them. I trust them. And it's at, it's a, it's at the point where first form puts out a product and I call my friend teach Brian teach. He's worked at first form since the start. I'm like, Hey man, what is this? I was like, should I take that? And he'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, good enough for me. You know, good enough for me. Yeah. I don't have to fucking know. Like it's, it's, it's their job to do the research and the science. Right. I trust them to make the best decision for me. Well, and you have a good relationship with him to where he knows what your fitness goals are too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he's able to say like, yeah, yeah, no, this wouldn't help with what right. you're trying and to achieve. He does tell me no yeah. sometimes and stuff like that too, you know? Um, and, um, but anyway, so I, I know, I know the company top to bottom. This is a company you can trust. Yep. We're talking about first form. We're going to get in to products individually. Um, before we start talking about the products specifically, you can read more about all of these at firstform.com slash Derek. And so that's one S T P H O R M.com slash Derek. It's got all the info, all the info. Now going to take a quick break and then we'll get into the supplements. Hey guys, wanted to take a minute and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast is sponsored by Raycon. Everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds, but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. Now, a lot of you who have been tuning into the main Drinking Bros podcast have already heard about Raycon earbuds, and you already know they start about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and that they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. If this is your first time hearing about Raycon, their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds are their best ones yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. When I say compact, I mean compact. I started using the Raycon E25 earbuds a few months ago, and I was skeptical. I have really odd-shaped ears. Earbuds have always been very hit or miss with me as to whether or not they would stay in. I absolutely hate having to adjust earbuds during a workout. I've made my situation worse by adding inch gauges to my already odd-shaped ears in a feeble attempt to look cool. The E25s worked flawlessly. I've used them while pumping out calories on a ski erg during burpees, and I took them for a test. 20 unbroken bar muscle-ups. That's a lot of whipping around, and I had no issues with the earbuds falling out of place. Unlike some other wireless option, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash Saturdays. That's buyraycon.com slash Saturdays. Thank you. Now back to the show. All right, we're back. And we're going to start at the top. Number one. Protein. Formula One. First form. Formula One. This flavor. CTC. It stands for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I think legally they can't put that on right. a fucking bottle. Trademark. Dude, this is a, I've, I've literally no shit been drinking this since 2015. I have two shakes a day and I would say, so that's, you know, so 300 times five, 1500 out of, let's say 15 and then 1500 times two, 3000. Let's say I've worked out 2,500 times in the last five years. 2,200 of those post-workout shakes have been CTC and I'm still <laughs> not tired of the flavor. I look forward to this fucking shit after every fucking workout. Now, um, uh, protein for the most part, for the most part, protein is protein, but there's, cause so there's, you know, this is a hydrolyzed whey isolate. Okay. And that's different from a hundred percent whey protein or whey concentrate and things like that. And the weird thing is, is companies will try to say one is better than the other and things like that, but they're all good in a way. Yeah. Do you think it depends on the person? It, it, dude, like, like, so so that's, that's person. a huge thing, dude. Yep. Supplements hit differently. Yeah. Supplements, you know, so like, whereas I love this, maybe it doesn't agree with someone's stomach. Right. But so formula one is cool. It's a hundred percent hydrolyzed whey isolate mm -hmm. and it's cooked at a low temperature. Okay. And so what that means, like think about cooking meat. Yep. Low and slow. Yep. You know, if you fucking cook it hot and fast, you're going to just burn the outsides. Yeah. So the low and slow, um, increases the bioavailability. Okay. So you're going to utilize more. Like if you drink 20 grams, you're going to be able to use a good majority of that. Right. You know, you're, not, you're not just going to like fucking get the protein farts or something like that, right. you know? And, um, it's, it's, it's 
this shit is um it mixes easy it does it this is this one digests fast this is the one you want for your post workout so this is part of the post workout stack it's formula one this is the ctc they have an, other flavors i like is like the mint chocolate cookie mm-hmm. they have a root beer float you said another one the other day the watermelon or something dude juicy or- it's juicy watermelon time when it gets yeah. hot there's juicy watermelon yeah but i'm, I'm saying man Form the CTC. Have you had this yet? Yeah, I okay, took a yeah. bottle from you. Yeah, okay, or sure. Can or whatever. Yeah, jug, jug, Home jugs. Yeah, yeah, I and, like uh, it. Yeah, dude, it's just it's just a simple protein. And so the times I take this is um, so I have two scoops after each workout with um some other shit that we'll talk about. But then like sometimes if 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 someone's having a snack, mm-hmm. like say they're having a peanut butter sandwich at ten a.m. because they don't have time to get lunch or something like that, peanut butter sandwich, great, not enough protein. Throw in a fucking scoop of Formula One. Super quick, fast, fucking easy. I used I used the CTC to create to curb uh like I'm a snacker at night. Mm-hmm. Like I like cakes and shit like that. Bust it out. Oh fuck. Where's it at? That? So it's actually right I gave Owen this right before the show. First form just released yep. a new protein bar. Their level one bar. Birthday cake. And how do you feel about this? I feel like it tastes exactly like birthday it's cake. Fucking amazing! Stacy and I were camping over the weekend, and I, and like I just got those Friday morning. They just released today. There's a new one. They just it just came out today. Yeah, yeah. That's the best birthday cake flavored anything I've ever had. Fucking amazing! So I used to like the oh yeah one bars because they had a birthday cake, but uh, this one shits all over that. Yeah, and it tastes like cake. Yeah. So there's there's level one bars, and those are a good snack. I don't I don't eat those very often because I don't have to. We and eat so a I'm lot not, of protein. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I, but I, I'm home. Right. I'm not at work. If right. you're at work, a level one bar, and I'm also not like a sweet tooth snacker type. Yeah, I am. You know, so like that. Mm-hmm. Yo, dude. Yep. It, it, yeah, guys, if you have trouble with snacking, I would rather you eat this motherfucking birthday cake level one bar. Yep. Than uh, than than whatever the fuck you're gonna find in your pantry. That's fucking. But anyways, good. staying focused. Um, protein. One of the silly things is women will ask, is it for me? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. I've, I take this protein. Who um, else takes it? Your my, mom takes it. My mom. It. And your my sister. My wife. My sister. Yep. Everybody it close, everybody, everybody in my circle has finally started taking the post-workout stack. They pretty much, your mom and sister pretty much take all the same stuff that you take, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly that. Yep. Yeah. Even creatine. Yeah, like yeah. all of it. So women, so women are like, is this protein for me? Mm-hmm. Protein is protein, all right? This is, this is, this is, this is simply protein. Any, anything that's marketed towards, if, if it says women's protein and it's just protein, that's just a marketing fucking bullshit, okay? So it's like, you, if you, if you don't go to a restaurant and ask for a woman's steak, <laughs> Don't come to me and ask for a woman's protein. protein. What's that about? Is that for like a, like a makes you not have the protein farts as much or, or something like that? What's that? The the marketing it as a woman's protein. No, dude, they're just preying on their insecurities doing, and shit yeah. like that. Women, yeah, dude, women, women spend a fuck ton more money true. on supplements than yep. men. Huge, because women are fucking insecure as shit. Yeah, and they and look at how much they like they buy. And I'm not I'm not being mean here. I'm not being mean, but look at like the money that they put into like makeup and skincare mm-hmm. and their different kinds of soaps. Dollar yeah. And dudes are just like, eh, huh? Uh, what? I'll fucking, Makes me yeah, strong. Fucking, yeah, I'll yeah. take it. They're like, she's like, ew, you have blackheads. And be like, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, dirty. Yeah. But like, whatever, you know, <laughs> dirty. like it's the joke. Like, you know, like women have 17 products and a guy has like a, a 13 in one right. bottle, one you know? bottle. So yeah, that's, that's really all it is. And some companies take advantage of that big okay. time, you know? Yeah. So protein is protein formula one CTC. This is the protein I've been taking since you've known me since, since, you know, since, since the internet has yeah, known me since I've been on the internet, this is, this is the only protein I've taken and that's formula one. Moving on. This one's fun. Ignition. This is cool. So back b- back before before December 2014, my post-workout was almost the same. It was the same concept, just different products. So my post-workout used to be, I used to throw a banana in my gym bag okay, uh, with a, a scoop of protein. And I used the GNC Wayabolic Extreme 60, I think it was. I used that for quite a while. Um, and then I would um, throw a scoop of glutamine in there. So it, the, the idea is, you know, like protein- 
fast acting sugar. Yep. And uh, some glutamine to help with recovery. But that ignition replaces the banana. Ignition works better. Ignition oh, works faster. You're taking the banana for the sugar. Yeah. But Got this, it. But this fucking, this, yep. this works faster. And so what, so this is, um, so formula one and ignition is what we call the post-workout stack. And I tell people, if you fucking do anything, do this, do the post-workout stack, because this is, this is what's going to stack help. just means you use them together. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So it's like, you know, if, if, um, so for me, like if I'm in training, I'll mm -hmm. do two scoops of formula one and a full scoop of, of ignition yep. after every workout. If I'm not in training, I'll either go one or two scoops of formula one, but just a half scoop of ignition. The ignition doesn't have a flavor. No, right? mm -mm, it's but, just, it, but it does enhance the flavor yeah. of the protein. It just, yeah, mm -hmm. it's sugar. It's, yep. it's sugar. And people, people get scared because it's sugar. Um, but this is a sugar that people shouldn't be afraid of because right. this is, this is, you take this after your workout and it, you know, it says ignite muscle growth, restore glycogen levels, decrease recovery time. So basically what happens when you work out, your body doesn't like hard work. Right. Your, your body wants to stay at a fucking, com your body wants to be comfortable. Your yeah. brain wants to be comfortable. Okay. It's a true story. Mm -hmm. No, physiologically, your body <laughs> does not like hard work. That's why hard work is so hard. Um, but so you're after a workout, your body is kind of like in a state of shock and it's in panic mode. And it's like, what the fuck? There's so much fucking shit going on. Where do we send the troops? Right. It's, it's like you're in a fucking firefight and it's happening 360 degrees and you don't know what to it's do. Fucking death blossom. Yeah. So this, um, ignition gets in there and it, and it like gets rid of that fucking, it gets rid of the shock and your body then is like, okay, we're at a neutral state. Yep. Let's start recovering. Right. That's basically, if I can explain what it does, that's what it is. It, and so it just helps you recover faster. So, you know, after you, um, after you hit a hard workout, say you did like a two hour workout mm -hmm. and you fucking just smoked your fucking balls. You can't and you even feel lightheaded yeah. and you're just like, you're out of it. If a full scoop of ignition and two scoops of formula one, I s like no shit will have you back online in like 10 minutes. Nice. Not even that long. It's just like, so after my like awful CrossFit workouts and yeah. stuff like that, I know like it, it helps me push. Right. Because you know I'm, like, gonna I'm be like, I'm going to be fucked up. But as soon as I get to that fucking protein shake, I'm going to like be able to think again, Yep. you know, or the post-workout stack. The ignition is a fucking, this is a game changer, dude. The post-workout stack. It's like a safety net. It's for dude, pushing yourself so hard. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like you, I mean, and it, it, it's cool. And w when I drink it, I feel like, I, th I feel like, cause like I said, training, nutrition and supplements. Yep. I feel just as, as, com as accomplished when I drink my post-workout shake as like I do eating the right thing or, you know, doing well in a workout. It's all fucking important right. to me, you know? So that's ignition. It's a sugar. It's a sciencey sugar that you shouldn't fear. And it just starts the recovery process faster um, by, by um, getting those glycogen levels back up. So do you still put the, uh, I see glutamine up there. Do you still put glutamine in there with your post-workout? I do. Okay. And that, but that, but that might be an overkill thing because there's, um, there's glutamine in this. I, I mean, so if this is, uh, you're known for overkill, I like am. you're, you're, yeah. so there is glutamine in the formula one. There's glutamine just in protein. I think oh, there's in like, protein. got it. Yeah. That's my understanding anyways. Cause you know, like a, Protein is a chain yep. of amino acids, yep. and I think it's included in the chain. But Got I always it. go, okay. but, I, but I always go glutamine. Yep. Um, you know, I've been taking glutamine since it's this, the, you know, my ab workout fast eddies. Oh yeah. Same fucking PL. He said, oh, yeah. he said, you need to take glutamine and do fast. And eddies. I, you know what I said? <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. I didn't say why. Right. I didn't say, I didn't say why he's like, he's like, Hey, you need to take glutamine. I was okay. like, Roger that. Roger that. Swing Roger that. GNC like, on the way he's back like, to the will I be as good looking as you. If I take <laughs> glutamine, will I be as dashing as you, sir? Did I have a crush on this guy? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, I put a scoop of glutamine in my, glutamine in my post-workout stack as well. Five grams, um, right here, recover faster, enhance muscle growth, boost immune system function. I only, I only use it for one thing, recover faster, recover faster. So like that soreness shit, yeah. like Dom's helps, yep. helps with soreness. Yep. Really helps with soreness. So it's like you say over or like is, is my intake overkill? 
Not for me. Right. It's the, no, it's the perfect kill. It, yeah, for it's you, the it perfect works. kill. But for an average person, or like, you know, like like you know, you're not you're working out hard. Mm-hmm. I don't say average as a mean thing. It's like, right. but you're hitting your workouts. You give a shit, but you got like a nine to five. It's not your life, but it's part of your life. Totally get away. Totally do well. Right. With just formula one and ignition. Yep. Yeah. So, um, that was, those are those two products. So that's you're taking out. You're taking those after your workout. What are you taking before the workout? Before my workout project one. Now this is, this is the first form pre-workout project one. As you'll see, if you can see, if you're watching this video, if you're not watching this video, my jug of Project One has no label. It's black label. Because I have a special blend of Project One, and I'm the only person in the world who gets this special <laughs> blend. And So elite. I'll tell you. Um, and so <clears throat> I don't have a label to go off of here, but here's, but I know, I know, I know this product. Um, project One is the pre-workout I take before, um, well, it was the pre-workout that I was using for just my bro lifts. Okay, but I take it before CrossFit now, because um, it's it's a, it's a, it, dude, it's 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 a fucking amazing pre-workout, and I think it's it's um relatively well, no, all pre-work it's 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 reasonably priced. Yep, but it's only like twenty servings per jug or something like that. But this is a fucking heavy hitter, and so but so before a- before Project One came out, I was stacking like four products oh, for really? my pre-workout. You know, so I had um. I, I don't do pill pre-workout okay. type stuff. So like for a long time, I was taking, I was still taking Cellucor Super HD uh-huh. powder for pre-workout. And that's a thermogen, like fat burner. Yeah. And I wasn't using it for the fat burner. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how well that stuff actually like burns fat and stuff like that. But the way that caffeine hits, fucking loved it. Yeah. And I would stack that with um, um, creatine. So I want creatine. So like what I want in a pre-workout is caffeine. Yep. I was getting that from the HD. I was um, putting a scoop of creatine in there. And then there was a, there's a product that first form has, it's called alpha surge DRV mm-hmm. and it's like 10 pills and it's your arginine and eggmatine. So what I want in a pre-workout is fucking go powder. Yep. You know, caffeine. I want it to hit. I don't want it to hit too hard. Right. I just want it to hit. So project one has 350 milligrams of caffeine. And for me, that's, perfect. Like I'll be pretty juiced up for like 15, 20 minutes, but then I level off and uh-huh. it's just sort of like a clean high energy. And then this has five grams of creatine monohydrate in there. And, um, men and women should be, if you don't take creatine, I don't know what the fuck to tell you to convince you to take creatine. Creatine is it's, 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 if, if you're working out, you should take creatine. That's just my opinion. You don't have to fucking look. Some people are like, you need to cycle on. You need to cycle off. You need to load. Like, no, fuck all that. Because there's creatine in steak. And I don't cycle up creatine. I don't load. Five grams of creatine. What? Uh, not, uh, I'll talk about creatine more in yep. a minute. But when we get so to I, want, I want caffeine. I want yep. a good caffeine dose. I want creatine in my pre-workout. I want pump shit. Because, like, getting the pump during a workout keeps me motivated. You know? And I don't eat beets to get a pump. <laughs> all right. I want motherfucking arginine and agmatine. And now there's new things that, um, um, come out that help you with your pump. I forget what it is, but then, so also in here, there's BCAAs in here and okay. we'll talk about what BCAAs do. And so this is just, this has everything I want in one fucking scoop. Yeah. One super easy scoop. Now, normal project one has beta alanine. Okay. Mine doesn't have beta alanine. I don't like beta alanine. And it's only because I'm an amputee. Like, so what, what beta alanine does, beta alanine is the thing that gives you the tingles. Yeah. But do you know what beta alanine does? Nope. See, nobody does. People just think it's fucking tingles. Beta alanine is really cool because you know how lactic acid works, right? Yeah. So lactic acid, lactic acid buildup reduces your performance. Yep. You're, you know, you're, you're, you're tired. Muscle fatigue. Yeah. So beta alanine helps your body produce this chemical that, flushes out lactic acid. Okay. So it enhances your performance and endurance by helping your body, you know, flush out lactic acid and, and not get to muscle fatigue as right. fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but, um, the, the tingles in my fucking stump or like in my socket, it yeah. feels like chafing. And so that's too distracting. Oh, it's like, I know I'm not chafing, but if I am chafing, I have to pay attention to that shit because chafing turns into an open sore. Yep. Dude, you have to take care of your stump, man. Yeah. You know, that's what <laughs> so, I've always heard. So I don't, um, 
I don't have uh, beta alanine in this. Um, you know what's funny is I took the original Jacked formula when it came out. Jacked 3D? Jacked, or? Yeah, the Jacked 3D. Yeah. yeah. When it came out, before anybody told us what beta alanine was or what it did, I just went blind. Everybody knows the tingles now. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew about the tingles back then, and nobody told us. All the dude, all all they told us, the kid at the GNC said, "You need to fucking take you this need Jack shit. 3D." I was like, "Fuck yeah, bro!" You know, and I took it, and it was, it was like my nose is itchy and on fire, and you get used <laughs> to that feeling. And and beta alanine is a really a cool, um, you know, what's the word like chemical component, something like that. It's 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 a good um, ingredient. To help you with your performance. Okay. But I just, I just, uh, my project one doesn't have it because of amputee things. So yeah, project one, it's got everything I want in one motherfucking scoop. All the flavors taste great. Yep. All right. So it's got caffeine, 350 milligrams of caffeine, five grams of creatine, um, uh, arginine, agmatine, BCAAs, and yours would have beta alanine. It is, this is, this is everything. This is shit. This is life. Yep. Project one pre-workout. And like, you you know, you get these products. And like I said before, it's like, understand the products, understand the company, know what you're putting in your body. Right. And, and why? And then, yeah. And then so when people ask you like, hey, what are you taking for pre-workout? You don't say, oh, I don't know. This stuff I Some saw somewhere. Stuff I got you in say, Walmart. Motherfucker, I'm taking project one. You know what it has in there? 350 milligrams of caffeine, five grams of creatine, um, a gram of agmatine, you know, three, three to one to one BCAAs you know, 250 milligrams of beta alanine. Know what you're putting in your body. Yeah. Um, I fucking love Project One. This came out like two years ago. And like I said before, my pre-workout, I would have to stack like four different products to get everything I need. Now, everything that I want is in one scoop. Yeah. Makes it super easy. So that's my pre-workout. So that's what you take before. Yep. So what are you taking mid? You're taking, you, you drink something in the middle of the workouts, yeah. like on the long ones. Yeah. There's been an, um, so... I'm just, I, there's a, I take intraformance during my really long CrossFit training mm -hmm. sessions, but, um, this is a more relative product and this is what I drink quite a, almost all the time. Now these are, this, this is a new product from first form EAAs. Yep. We call this, um, intra workout. So you have pre-workout, intra workout, post-workout, yep. intra meaning during EAAs, essential amino acids. What's really cool, so essential amino acids, you know, you like everybody's familiar with BCAAs. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll tell what BCAAs do. So like EAAs are cool, a cool product because EAAs are, are I, would, I would rate these higher than BCAAs. So EAAs, essential amino acids, yep. the, the, the amino acids in here are amino acids your body doesn't naturally produce. You have to get them from an outside source. Okay. And so- here it is right in a powder, right? You know, so like these EAAs will help build, build muscle, help you recover, help you build. Okay. And, um, let's see. Yeah. Increase muscle protein synthesis, improve recovery, smooth energy and focus. So what's yep. really cool about this product, 60 milligrams of caffeine. Got some more. 60 milligrams of it's caffeine. Got the green bean S caffeine. Yeah. So for me, you know, like my project one fucking gets me going but I start to level off, start to taper off 15, 20 minutes, but I'm drinking this during my workout yeah. and it, um, keeps me going, Yeah, you know? And it's delicious. Mm -hmm. That stuff. So I've like only, a I've only had the watermelon flavor. Yep. Fucking amazing. So good. I think there's like a lemon drop or something. I don't know. Don't fuck with like EAA's watermelon, but check it out. So like pre-workout, some women don't like, or some people don't like high stim. Typically women seem to not want the fucking super high stimulant pre-workout. <laughs> Stacy uses this for pre-workout. That's what I use for pre-workout. Cause I also don't like the women. super high, you know, women and <laughs> women, Owen. women and Owen, <laughs> women and skinny runners. <laughs> There's something about women and skinny runners oh, that no. Yeah. But this is, this is a good pre-workout. Yeah, 60 like milligrams of caffeine. And then the EAAs dude, like EA first form, came out with this product, I think a year ago. And after, and for about two years before that, EAAs were making their entrance into oh, okay. the supplement world. And people were like, hey, these work. Get, stop drinking your BCAAs because these are better. Yeah. And I, I stuck with First Form's BCAAs during my workouts until they came out with this product. I'm, I'm fucking loyal and exclusive to First Form. Yeah. 
Um, that stuff has about the same amount of caffeine in it as a uh, as a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. It's about the same. Mm-hmm. And if I start drinking anything more than like one cup of coffee, I start getting the jitters real bad, which is why I don't like the high stim stuff. Yeah. So the, this is perfect. Yep. And actually, stuff works good. They have a there is a pre workout. I've never tried it. It's called um, uh, first form has called Alpha Cre HD. Mm-hmm. It's completely non stim. Oh, really? So for people who are working out at night because yeah. of their job or something like that, yeah. it's got like creatine, beta alanine, and some pump shit, I think. Okay. It's just no stim no at caffeine. all. Mm-hmm. So the beta, beta alanine in there can help you, yeah. you know, because it's got the tingles. It'll wake you up. It's yep. kind of like nipple clamps or a thumb in the butt, right. you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, good stuff. Yeah. Extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, Alpha Cree, they do have a non-stim pre-workout. Um, so that's the, that's the EAAs. I drink that during my workout. So really... There's nothing fancy here. Like no, it's pretty basic it's, it's stuff. Like legit, like the supplements I take is just shit found in food. Yeah. In powder concentrated form. Yep. I don't take weird shit. Right. And I don't, there's like with my, when we'll get to the Opti Greens and Reds and the vitamins, that's where I plug holes in my nutrition. Right. But really my supplements, they're not to um, fill holes in my, it's to support my training. Yeah. And support my building of lean muscle. It's, right. it's just to support my training because during my workouts, I'm fucking my shit up mm-hmm. and twice I, a day. And this helps me recover. And then my food. So like my supplements stay the same, gaining weight, losing weight, different goals. doesn't matter what changes is my training and nutrition, but my supplements fucking stay the same Yeah, because it's just there to support my training. That's it. Um, um, Let's talk about BCAAs. Branch chain amino acids. Super fucking popular. Um, super overhyped, mm-hmm. I think. I mean, here, here's, here's, How so? here's my analogy. Well, it's just like people are, I don't know. They're, it's, it's treated like this amazing product. But here's the thing. So my analogy for, for what, what are BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. So if your muscles are a dirty hooker. Okay. BCAAs. It's penicillin. Are a condom. Oh, are a condom. They protect your muscles. They protect you during physical activity. They don't fucking build. Right. They don't necessarily help build. They help protect, you know? So that's kind of like my thing. Like if if, if your muscles are a dirty hooker, BCAAs are your condom. You're going to want to wear a condom when you're fucking a dirty hooker. Especially. So, you know, so if, um, so BCAAs, and, 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 um, they're, they protect, so it's support muscle, muscle growth, <laughs> muscle growth, Muthu? support muscle growth, increased recovery, promotes protein synthesis. But so, um, what I like about, you know, if, if you're looking at branch chains, what you're really paying for, what you're really buying is this, um, amino acid leucine. Okay. And this one has 3,500 milligrams. In is that one you can get from food or not, not from food? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so branch chains. Yeah. You, um, or your body uh, produces this stuff That's naturally. What, but okay. I remember dude, um, one of the muscle tech had a product back when I was in the army, it was called like Lou kick. It was just straight up a pill of leucine. Yeah. And, and so that's, I, and I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, leucine, but that's, that's what you're, that's what you're getting in BCA. So BCAs are cool. Um, this apple juice, super fucking refreshing during a workout. That's a during, during, okay. During, uh, during for me. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I, I don't drink it anymore because you take the EAAs, the EAAs and intraformance. Yep. It's more, more beneficial. Oh, better. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but, but I was, t- I was drinking this for years and the apple juice, super refreshing during yeah. the workout. So if you're going to drink something during, I don't want to drink, I don't drink regular water. It's fucking poverty. Right. I don't like that. You know, Mm-mm. um, I needed to be drinking something. And so it's like, if I'm going to drink something with some flavor, why not have some branch chains in there? Yep. You know, why not? You know, it's, it's fucking helping me out. Does it have caffeine too? No. Okay. Yeah. So like I, I drank, dude, I drank BCAAs for fucking 13, 14 years or yeah. something. But now I'm just, I'm, I'm big on the EAAs essential amino acids because, um, it, it, it helps re- my recovery more. Right. And, um, building new, mu- building new muscle, not just protecting the muscle I already have. Right. Help me building new muscle and that 
fucking little, that little dose of caffeine in there is just enough to like get me from minutes 45 to 70 yeah. in my workout, you know? So right after your workout, you hit. So before we're hitting project one. Yep. Then we're hitting the EAAs during the workout. Yep. And then afterwards, we're going formula one, ignition, and glutamine. And then you bust out that little bag right there of the micro factor I've seen. Oh, yeah. In my, so, yeah. yeah so um, um, in my post-workout shake, shake yeah. my first post-workout shake of the day comes after my first workout. Yep. And that's when I take micro factor. Yep. And this is the vitamin pack. And I'll tell you what, first form came out with, so first form did some cool shit. Dude, first form, the first two and a half years that I was with them, it was straight bro. Mm -hmm. Cause we were all bros at the time. Right. And then guess what happens? Bros grow up, bros get married, bros get kids, bros start giving a shit about their health and not just like the fucking size of the veins in their cock. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> you know? And so first, <laughs> form, yeah. Um, <laughs> so first form started, dude, like all their new products are more about health and vitamins and things like that than it is the typical that stuff. Right. You know, um, whole, whole life. Yeah. Health stuff. So I wasn't getting my vitamins from first form. The okay. first, the first couple of years I was doing like the GNC. I've always liked the, I always used to like the GNC vitamin packs and they have mm -hmm. like the sport pack or like the, the, the virility and vitality pack or something right. like that. I've always taken a vitamin pack, not just a multivitamin. Right. Um, but as soon as this came out, I was like, boom, goodbye. So that's it for the day. That's, that's like the vitamins. This is it for the day. day. Yeah. And, 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 um, if I was better, I would, I would also take the full mega. Okay. With, which has like fish oils and stuff oh, like that. But yeah. dude, I fucking hate fish burps yeah, from fish oils. Gross. There's, there's some things I won't do for health and fitness yeah. and, and burping up fish is one of them. Yeah, that is so a bad anyways, taste. in, in this, like, so in the micro factor, there's an antioxidant, you know, support immune system, remove free radicals, slow the aging process. Don't give it, I'm, I'm down with aging, but support my immune system. Yep. All right, let's go. Multivitamin, multivitamin, get your multivitamin. Mm -hmm. um, probiotics, um, promote healthy digestive system, enhance nutrient absorption. That's a big one. Yeah. Cause like, you know, if you're eating, you want to fucking make sure your body puts as much of that to use as possible. Obviously we don't utilize everything we consume we know that because we poop. Right. Right. Because you, know? yeah. you wouldn't uh, poop otherwise. Yep. And then again, probiotic, boost immune system. There's a fruit and veggies pill in here. Awesome. Nobody eats enough fruits and vegetables and that's okay. Yep. But we can supplement that shit. Yep. E EFA, lower inflammation, improve joint health, decrease blood pressure, promote mental clarity. Big ones there for me, lower inflammation, improve joint health. Inflammation fucking hurts, dude. Yeah. Like tendonitis and things like that. So micro factor, it'll at least help. And then the COQ10, increase nutrient uptake, support heart health, improve cellular energy production. So this is like, boom. And I have no problem throwing, so there's how many pills in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pills. Mm -hmm. I just, I mix my protein shake. I mix, mix my post-workout stack, crack this bag open, throw all the pills in my hand down the hatch. Yep. No problem. Some people seem to have a fucking problem with pills. So like, look at the size of this. This would be about what? A modest bite of pizza. Yeah. And you don't question that. Yeah. Are you a, are you a scared of pills guy? No, I can, I, Stacey, I can take all of them like that too. Yeah. Stacy could take like one at a time like this. And really? She'll freak out about it. Yeah. But I don't know, get so that. like, yeah. So uh, women are funny. Cause they're like, I was like, what? You can't put, you can't like throw three pills down the hatch, but you'll choke on a fucking eight inch cock. <laughs> like <laughs> you knew I was going to say it and you were looking I was, at, I was yeah, waiting for it. Yeah. You were like, God, Derek, are you going to, are you going to do joke. it? Yeah. It, are you going to do it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's fucking weird where it's like, you know, women can't take two fucking pills at once, but they can put a fucking eight inch penis in their mouth. I Apparently don't you don't have a gag reflex yeah. either. So kudos, mm -hmm. kudos to that. Yeah. So you know, so like I said before, so first form, they've just been replacing products. I've always taken, I've always taken all of this. Always. I've always taken, you know, I've always taken protein. Yep. Used to have a banana, but then ignition better. Okay. I've always taken glutamine. I've always had an intra workout. I used to do like cellucor, amino, whatever their fucking amino thing was. Mm -hmm. 
And they had a cool amino product for a while because it had caffeine in it. Stacy liked that. But then First Form came out with the EAAs. Yep. And that replaced that for Stacy. Project One replaces products. Microfactor replaces the GNC vitamin packs that I was taking. And yeah. it's just like, dude, like I truly believe First Form makes a better product than all the stuff. I'm, I'm fucking thrilled every time First Form comes out with a product that replaces something. I have to go outside first form for yeah because I just I know they do a better job at making it yeah I know they do and it and like first form is I would like it's expensive it's a pretty if you product. if you look at it yeah. but like this is our body you know yeah. like this is our body so um the micro factor um, vitamin pack increase immune function overall better health improved digestion you just you need a fucking are you taking a vitamin pack. Yeah. Do you take the micro factor? Not yet. Are you open to trying? Oh, yeah, totally. I'll get you one, man. Let's yeah, call I take uh, the next one you're going to pull out. It's the, the greens and reds. I love those. Yeah, dude. Okay, yeah. So this is a I huge... So, so greens, uh, the Opti... Here's another product. First form, Opti Greens 50. Remember, guys, if you're listening, if you want to read more about any of these products, firstform.com slash Derek. Yep. 1STPHORM.com slash Derek. Opti Greens 50. Again. I'll, I've been taking a greens product for 10 plus years. Yeah, and you don't and eat it, a lot of greens. Like, oh, I eat, diet. I eat fucking almost none. Right. And that's okay. Yep. And I won't be fucking convinced otherwise. That's and then fine. people, you know, people, you know, yeah. People are like, oh, you need to eat. Like, I, there's no way in the history of our species people were ever, ever getting the amount of fruits and vegetables that they say we need every day. No way. And anyway, so yeah, I, um, I've always, um, I used to stress my, I used to eat things I didn't enjoy. Oh yeah. Because, like because, and because, and, and, and vegetables, chicken and rice. like, you know, I, I dude, I used to, the, th the thing is I used to spend a shit ton of money on fruits and vegetables, Okay, but and I wouldn't, I wouldn't end up eating them and they would just go bad in your fridge by the bag of spinach that you just yeah. put in your, mm -hmm. in your fridge on, to, on your ideals. Rot. And like, yeah. I'm wasting, I just, I, I throw away $5 that I didn't have. Cause like yeah. I said, I was always overdrafting my bank account. I was like, this is fucking stupid. This is vegetables. Yep. Fault. I just, I just, I can't, it just sort of evolved over time. I just stopped eating fruits and vegetables for the most part. I, 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 I do occasionally. Mm -hmm. And when I do, I enjoy it, but I'm a steak and taters and cheese guy, you know? Yep. Um, so you got a hole in I've, your diet. I liked how you described yeah, it like that. So, so you like, fill the hole with that. Yeah. And I've always, before this came out, I used GNC superfoods. Yeah. And I was pissed off. There was a little period of time. So like the GNC superfoods is a uh, is a greens product. Okay. So when, when we say greens product, we're talking like, you know, um, fruits and green, gr fruits and veggies. Um, but this one made me learn about probiotics and what that does. And specifically when you're taking probiotics, you want a product that has this DDS one and that's what greens has. So like okay. I'm like first form makes quality fucking products, man. Um, so I was taking the GNC superfoods for years. Yeah. And then I was pissed off because for a while GNC tried to capitalize. Cause so I was mixing, I was always mixing my superfoods with a scoop of protein. So okay. if I'm going to be drinking something, why not get 20 extra grams of protein in? Right. But I wanted to mix it with my protein. And they got rid of the superfoods by itself and came out with superfoods plus whey protein. Oh, I was like, fuck you. I, don't I want, want my protein. protein. Yeah. I don't know what protein you're putting in there. I don't know what protein. People fucking, supplement companies cut corners mm -hmm. with how they make protein or things like that, you know? Um, so I was fucking, I think this product came out like three years ago. Okay. And I was like, boom, baby. Fuck Yeah. Superfoods in the fucking trash, you know, Opti Greens. So I've been drinking Opti Greens 50 every day since it came out. And it's just like, when I don't take it, you can actually feel a difference. I know. You can feel a difference I in know. how your tummy feels, Yeah, you know? And and now it's crazy how, you know, now there are uh, people, a lot of people are talking about the, uh, the connection to, the connection with um, gut health yeah. and mental health yeah, and like how much of your mood is in your gut. It's weird. I, and I'm not, and I'm not super read up on it. I'm not I've either. heard snippets and things like but that. I, I ran but I out like, of it that. It makes sense. I yeah. ran out of that stuff like three days ago. Mm. And the, the, the second day after I felt off and we were like, it's what's just, different about today? I'm like, Oh shit. Yeah. I ran out of that stuff. Yeah. 
So not only so I believe it. So this like so Opti Greens, it's not just like getting fruits and veggies in. Yeah. It's also it um it helps you utilize the food you eat. Right. With like the probiotics and things like that. So it's like um that's important. It's efficiency. Yeah. And it just makes it helps it it makes you feel like digestion yeah. and things like that. Well you're it, you know you're eating all this other proteins and, mm -hmm. and stuff and you want your body to absorb it as best as possible yeah and be efficient mm -hmm. in using it yeah so opti greens 50 what do you mix it with fucking dude i drink this shit straight do so you really well, well actually yeah a guy no fucking dude you've you know so you motherfuckers think this shit tastes bad where were you in 2012 when oh, all we man. had was gnc superfoods yeah, i wasn't eating it's fucking awful yeah. you could not drink that alone this tastes amazing for a greens product it tastes it tastes, it tastes very earthy yeah it doesn't taste bad it, it tastes, tastes fucking earthy amazing fuck. so some people so first off so yes people write and they complain about the taste and i, I say, could eat it if i had I'm just to. like i'm like hey bitch you're right it's not a glazed donut yeah but go fucking just eat glazed donuts all day see where that gets you yeah maybe sometimes you sacrifice a little taste for your health and fitness i mix it with orange juice i think it tastes so, the best that way yeah so that's what that's that's big and that's popular yep there's you know you can um you can throw it in with a smoothie you can do whatever you need to but have you ever mixed it with reds yeah so i take both of those together with orange juice really yep yeah um so so we're talking this is this came out within the last year yeah first form opti reds yep and it's like same concept well same so reds red vegetables red fruits things like that but this one has more of a um Antioxid focus on antioxidants yeah. and removal of free radicals yep. and things like that and dude i fucking i swear when this came out so we're, we're on to opti reds I am not being disgusting, and it's not on the label. Boners, like I, 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 like I good I, ones. I felt a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> there's a there's a boner difference. Your but boner it health sense. was better. It makes sense because it promotes <laughs> nitric oxide in the blood. Okay, and yeah. so nitric oxide, yeah. you know, like better blood flow, better boners. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not on the label. And I put that. I, I've said that before in some places, and I got some feedback where people were like, dude, I think you're. Right. I think you're onto something. And I was like, I'm not trying to make a claim here. I am not saying that Opti Reds will make your fucking boners more frequent or stronger. I'm right. just saying, I think I felt a difference. I've and if got, it's placebo, right? Hey, placebo is pretty placebo, cool. Sometime. I'll buy that shit. If, if you fucking, if, if, if it's fake, but I'm, but I'm still getting, dude. Right? And that's, you know what? That's a funny thing about supplements is placebo works 50% of the time. Yeah. And so if you're, if you're buying a placebo, but you're getting the results, is right. it, isn't that, is it still not are worth you, it? Are you getting what you want? Yeah. So I'm not saying so. And so all of these products for me, it's not a placebo thing. Yeah. Um, let's, let's stay focused on this one real quick. Opti reds. So I, I mix Opti greens and Opti reds every day in between my meals. So I only have the two meals a day, you know? Yeah, that's right. And so at about <clears throat> six or seven, I have two scoops of greens, two scoops of reds, uh -huh. and 12 ounces of water because I ain't no fucking bitch. Right. All right. I like orange juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. I, I know. Like a ton of women do that know, combination. Me and, me and all you, the women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. That's fine. No. Um, orange juice is the most popular way to drink. Yeah, um, greens. If you can't, if you like it, but um, but I'm saying like I, I don't have a problem with the taste because I used to drink. I've been drinking like I said, I've been taking supplements for 17 years. Yeah, and this shit compared to what I have taken and have you know I've used in the past, <laughs> I've done the bad shit. Okay, oh, yeah. this is the good shit. I was trying to think of some of the names of the stuff I used to take when I was 20, and I can't. It's like Andrestine or something. Yeah, just like I fake don't ass. You, I don't even think you can buy it anymore. Yeah, fake ass anabolic steroids yeah, and shit like right. that. Yeah. Don't like, so this, like literally everything we just talked about, this is the basics. Right. And like this stack is probably like, it's expensive. 400 bucks a month. Yeah. For all of that. Yeah. But it's the basics. There's yep. nothing fancy here and you can cycle in and out and try different things, find what works for you. I wanted to talk about one more product specifically. Creatine. Yeah. Creatine, 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 men and women. Creatine monohydrate. So, um, it's interesting. Um, there's a myth about creatine. Creatine makes you bloated. Creatine makes you fat. You know who, like, I, 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 I figured out, I was listening, 
and paying attention to who was talking shit about creatine. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you dirty motherfuckers. Who was it? It's the fucking jocks in high school that got lazy and fat. And they didn't blame their being fat on all the beer they drank freshman year in college. It was the creatine. Or the pizza they ate. It was because they came off of creatine. That's, dude, I swear to fuck, that, that's a stupid ass myth. Yep. But um, so creatine monohydrate. And I believed that myth for a long time that creatine fucking makes you bloated, makes you fat. Because what creatine does, it's, it's in, um, put simply, energy at the cellular level. Okay. What conducts, what, how does your body produce energy? What conducts electricity? Water. Water. So, like, yeah. It, so it puts it, more water it in hydrates, the cells. Hydrates the cells. Um, to boost energy at the cellular level, you know? So it's like people would think like, oh, bloated. Because if you're, yeah, you know. Your um, cells are engorged with so water. So I, I believe that. That was what, that, that's what we were told. Makes that sense creatine to me. creatine monohydrate fucking makes you bloated. That's and so tough. for me as an amputee, yeah. I can't, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do any bloating. If I bloat at all, I don't fit my leg. Right. So like things like flying, humidity and alcohol, I have to plan for that because yeah. I won't fit my leg because I am bloated. All right. Creatine monohydrate, not bloated, <laughs> not even at all. Um, so for when I became an amputee, I got off monohydrate and I started taking different creatines. Okay. Because there's some out there, they'll, they'll, they'll sell you creatine and market it as a, a creatine that won't make you bloat. Okay, but there is no, creatine monohydrate is legit one of the most studied and researched fucking supplements there is. It yeah. re, and it's and it's just like the verdict is in, drink creatine monohydrate. And um, I was skeptical about getting back on monohydrate. Um, but I'd been reading. It's like, hey, drink monohydrate, drink monohydrate. And so I asked my guy, Brian Teach, at first form. I was like, Teach, I'm like really concerned about bloating. Right. He's like, no, drink monohydrate. I was like, okay. Started drinking monohydrate. I'm like, <gasps> looking at my leg. I'm like, oh, fuck, am I going to bloat? No bloating. Nothing. No bloating. So like this physique or every physique you've seen of me, whether I have four abs or 10 or when I was powerlifting and fat, ten, 10 grams of creatine a day. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So 10 grams of creatine a day. But um, so five of it, my first pre-workout, five grams comes from the project one. Oh, okay. So, um, so then you only have to take that extra five from that later you on. You mix in the that day. with something? Yeah. Um, typically like my post-workout shake from my second workout. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so like when I take things, I don't, I don't, there's, when I take creatine, as long as I get 10 grams in in a day, yeah, I'm fine. You're not I like don't, timing I don't it care. for like a yeah. certain cycle It's just or like something. I take it when I take it is because that's when it's convenient for me to get right. it in, you know? And I'm, I get a shit ton more creatine than just this 10 grams of monohydrate because of the amount of red meat I eat. Yep. Like red meat has a lot of creatine yep. in it. So that's a thing. Like, you know, women, there, there's a lot of people out there that women that think women shouldn't take creatine. I had to convince Stacy to take creatine like two some odd years ago. And now she swears by it. And yeah. she's like, hey, you need to take creatine. And I get in. Um, it's interesting when I find out somebody close to me in my life has this idea that women shouldn't take creatine. Right. Because like, well, when you talk supplements and muscle building, one with women, they're like, I don't want to get bulky. I'm like, man, do you know how fucking hard it is <laughs> to get fucking bulky it's as a dude? Easy. As right. a dude, it is hard to get bulky. It's even harder to get bulky as a woman. And we've talked about this before mm-hmm. when women yeah. are like, Hey, I don't want to be too amazing, too fast. <laughs> okay. So slow down with all the creatine talk. I don't want to just wake up and be fucking jacked and tan and have my perfect bod, but then get too amazing. Right. You know? So It'll yeah. Shock everybody. Yeah. No. So it'd be, it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, not, and like, you know, so like women would be like, I can't take creatine because of the bloating. It's, you're not going to fucking bloat. Or, and it was actually, I was even talking to someone recently who, who thinks, who holds the opinion that women shouldn't take creatine. And we were talking about a woman in particular. And, and I was like, why don't you think they should take, he was like, well, they need to drink water and exercise if they're going to take creatine. I was like, okay, this person drinks water and, and exercises. exercises. So it's just this fucking bullshit sexist yeah. prejudice. Yeah. You know, it's this gender role thing. And fuck that. Fuck that. Yep. Fuck that. Ladies, drink your creatine. You know, if you're exercising, yeah. if you're exercising and you're ex- and you're giving a shit about your workouts and you're putting your all into it, you're fucking shocking your body, mm-hmm. training with purpose and intensity, drink creatine. 
drink creatine, get some fucking creatine in there. And I don't, you know, I, so I get 10 grams a day and I actually, um, <laughs> how big is the serving size on that? <laughs> like, what's the, what's the grams in the serving? It's just one scoop. Okay. And, uh, you and I talked about this. It doesn't come with a scoop. Oh yeah. I know. But if you fucking just grab yourself a goddamn teaspoon, <laughs> one teaspoon <laughs> equals five grams. Owen, pretty, pretty simple. It's rocket. I know science, you got to really think out of the box there. Ryan yeah. taught us how to think out of the box last week. He's so, yeah. so grateful so, for that. Yeah, dude. Um, I, I was going to say, um, I had somebody tell me one time they asked me how long I'd been taking creatine. Cause like some people are like, Oh, you need to cycle off and yeah, I've heard oh, that. your body, your body gets used to absorbing things. So it doesn't absorb it as much and blah, blah, blah. There's all these stupid fucking annoying myths about supplements. And once I just finally rejected all that dumb shit and just took these every day, I started doing very well, nice. you know? And I had somebody tell me, they're like, how long you been on creatine? And I'm like, mm, like 20 years, six years, but like regularly nonstop, 10 yeah, grams yeah. a day, six years. And they're like, dude, that's fucking stupid. You know, they're like, you need to cycle off. You need to do this and this and this. No. Yeah. Guess what? I beat that person in a competition. So I was like, well, you know, <laughs> maybe you should take 10 grams of creatine a day. Hey, I don't know. know. You know, you know, it'll help yeah. you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not it, like not, you know, cause it's just, it's weird what people say about supplements. Cause like all these supplements right here, they're just food in powder form. I think it's where people, it comes down to where people get their information from. Yeah. And it used to be magazines and whoever and, the person yeah. was writing the article and now so, it's the internet. So there, there are weird, weird products out there and stuff like that. But yeah. like the ones that I take and I'm, I, I do this for a living, train, yep. eat and supplement. I do that my own personal vocation. Right. And, but I only take the basics. Right. That's it. You're not taking the fancy it's not, stuff. Like not, not any weird shit. Yeah. So, um, one thing I did want to talk about that I don't take um, when to take a fat burner or the fat burner stack. Yep. That's huge, huge market. Yep. People spend a shit ton of money yep. on trying to lose fat. And I actually seen, I was upset for a while and they, they corrected this issue fast. There was some people um, in first form, you know, people like me mm -hmm. who sell first form, who was marketing Opti Greens as, as a, a fat as a, as a fat loss thing, preying on that insecurity. Mm. Well, and like it was, it Just was misinformed or what? It was naive. They okay. weren't, it wasn't, they weren't malicious. They were just naive. They didn't understand what they were doing. Yeah. Um, but they were doing it and it was, it was pissing me off and I didn't say anything. And when I did speak up, um, it had already been handled. So nice. I was like, cool cool. Yep. Like you guys didn't like that either. You saw what was happening and you didn't like it either. And you shut it down. Right. Cool. Awesome. We're good to go. You know, that's the integrity, the integrity of first form. Yeah, is you don't there. want to stain the like reputation. We have, we have equal values. Mm -hmm. So like, if you guys are listening and you trust me, just know that I trust first form and I'm able to trust them because when shit like that happens, they're like, Nope, shut that shit down. Right. We do not fucking talk that way. We don't bullshit people and we don't have to bullshit people. You don't have to lie about why, or it's not even lying. But just, you don't have to try so hard to convince somebody that OptiGreens 50 is good. Right. It's fucking good. And if people take it, they're going to benefit. And if they don't take it, well, I mean, sorry. I mean, yeah. have a nice day. You know? <laughs> but, Eat more veggies. But you're, yeah, but you're going to like it. Um, but anyways. So um, the fat burner stuff, yeah, when, so, when when's that okay? So to me, here's when... I understand. I don't know how much, how well fat burns. So like first form has these packs and it's yep. like, there's a men's pack and a woman's pack. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's when men's f women's supplements can make sense because like different hormones and things yeah, yeah. like that. So, um, is it like a metabolism and, booster or so there's in, in the pack, I, I know the, the men's is called overdrive and I think the woman's is called goddess, but it comes with a thermo. Okay. A thermogen, a pill, you yep. know, with some other things. And then th a product called thyroid drive. Mm -hmm. So like regulate your thyroid. And then it actually comes with opti greens. Oh, really? Okay. They're like, hey, motherfucker, like this is, you know, just get, get like help you with your digestion and things right. like that. Utilizing the good food you're eating and stuff like that. So, um, 
thermogens are cool. They're high stimulant. They get you off your fucking ass. Right. If, if so, when, like when I tell people, like maybe if you're just starting out yep. and you got 50 plus pounds to lose and yep. you, you just don't know where to start, you don't have that drive yet, this can be your rocket fuel. It's like a little bit like, of help. Like uh, one to two months of using the fat loss pack. Right. And it's just like the, it's just your rocket fuel, yep. you know? And then, you know, you like, like just like SpaceX, you got your fucking initial rockets, those disengaged and you got secondary fucking yep. rockets, those disengaged. And then you got your boosters. Right. So it's just that fucking initial, initial boost. boost. And, and like, and maybe it's just a mental thing. Maybe you're just, you know, like placebo. Yeah. Is like, is there chemical, or compounds in there that, you know, research says they'll help target and mm -hmm. you lose fat. Okay. Yeah. Like they put that stuff in there and they first form always first form. Isn't going to put bullshit in a bottle and sell right. it to you, but I don't pay attention to fat loss products. Cause yeah. for me, that's not, you know, like my fat loss comes from training and nutrition, right? Supplements to me support my training, but you can use supplements to, Get you going. Just like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. I hit the microphone. I was fisting. Sorry. Um, yeah. So that's when, that's when a fat burn stack I think is good. And, and, and I think like part of it, you're just, you're just, you're just almost buying placebo or that mental push, but Hey, if it benefits you, yeah, dude, like if it fucking, if it gets you the results in a roundabout way, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It fucking worked. Maybe right. it didn't work like the label says it works, but it fucking got you working, you know? Yep. And then, but so I would, I, but I would put a time limit on that and like, like two months, one to two months. Yeah. And then shift to this stuff. To the basic stuff. To the basics. Get your post-workout stack. Because to me, you know, so you, to me, or like not people, I don't expect people to afford this. Right. <laughs> I don't pay for it. I'm a right. sponsored athlete. Straight yep. up. And I don't apologize for that because I fucking, that's, yeah, you that's my it. dream, you know? Yeah. yeah. So um, I get that I'm, or I'm grateful. Right. It's nice. It is nice being a sponsored athlete. It is nice. And I, you know, I have all the supplements that I need and I give supplements to my friends. Mm -hmm. I make sure everybody's fucking, not my mom. Mom pays full price. Yeah, good. It's like my mom makes a mistake of telling me her annual salary. Right. So hey, I know mom. she can afford. Right. She paying gym membership here, the garage her, Yeah, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> but she does buy her post-workout stack off firstform.com slash Derek. So <laughs> for real, my mom shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope, mom, you're paying full price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the fat burner stacks, um, they're an option. There, and that's and that's when it's just just a boost. Or yeah. the other time is like, say you're just down to that last ten, that last ten pounds that you want to lose. Maybe there's like a little boost, yep. you know. So that's that's it. I just I'm very careful. I don't pitch fat burners to people because I'm like, let's like, let's address this in a different way, right? But. This is not your some solution. People, so, but some people just need to go that route yeah. for a little while. They do. And it, and it helps. Yep. And it and it can be it can be a good thing. It can be a good thing. So I don't want to shit talk it. Right. And and convince somebody to not do the thing that's going to get them off their ass. You just don't want to sell it as the the uh the solution to right. getting in shape because that's yeah. not what's going to get you in right. shape. Right. Or like for in, in a big thing in for me is like <sighs> when we say like fat loss stack uh -huh. to me, that's already a loser's mentality. Cause think about the words fat loss uh -huh. versus muscle building. Right. You know? So, um, and that's something I wrote about quite a lot in the yeah. thing I've been working on. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. But so, but I don't want to, but like for real fat burner <laughs> stacks. Yeah. But I, like a fat burner stacks are fucking a great, initial rocket booster. Yep, so that's, sure. that's if, if you're, if you got a lot of work to do 50, you know, like, or 20 plus pounds, or you haven't worked out, if you haven't worked out in three shit in a year or yeah. more start, uh, the men's it's called like the overdrive pack. Yeah. It'll get you off your fucking ass and it'll get you some greens. It'll get you some healthy shit. So that's, um, that's my rundown of supplements. These are What's the products take? I take. There's a bunch more supplements that first form has, you know, like vitamin C, vitamin D, they got, they got a bunch of weirds. Like they have, they have a product that I, I, 
I, I straight, I'll say it. I don't care. I don't agree with it on like a, a values level, like the hair, skin and nails Oh yeah. for women. And that's just a values thing. It's like, you know, but like, it's a huge seller, a huge yeah. product, but it, like, I can't promote it because what I want to promote instead is liking yourself yeah, or just like, you know, um, accepting your aging and wrinkles. I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Botox and I think there's a difference between expression and suppression, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So they're like, but so they have a ton of products and, um, like I said, first form won't put shit in a bottle and sell it to you. Right. So there, there's a ton of products that I'll never take that I, I just don't need. Yeah. And then they got cool ones like digestive enzymes, GI Advantage, the Alpha Surge DRV, the Full Mega. Fuck, man. Um, Night Tea. I actually got a bottle of that. I want to try it. It's like- Does the, it help you sleep? It's, it's a sleep plus testosterone aid. Now, I don't need help with testosterone. Right. Like, um. Got my levels Sleep checked. Cool. And, yeah, but it's got like some melatonin and stuff in there. But yeah. I, but I'll just maybe something to replace because I still take Tylenol PM and melatonin every night. Maybe I'll take that. I'm old. Yeah, that, I'm sure my test the night tea dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting old, but you just fucking you're you're in the age bracket where you can just go inject. You know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> go inject. Um. So, anyways, you can you guys can um check all these out. Go to firstform.com slash Derek and just do some reading. And do some sampling and experimenting. And I'll tell you, shit, fuck. Um, First Form has 110% money back guarantee. So they'll fucking, rep- if you if you get something and you don't like it, just call customer service or write yeah. them and they'll replace the price that you spent on the product plus the extra 10% is to cover your shipping. Nice. So like you have nothing to fucking lose when you, when you, try, when you try First Form shit. And that's what we said it earlier, like supplements hit, yeah, different people different differently different. And, and like flavors are different. You know, like I love CTC and somebody be like, I didn't like that. And like, I'm going to be like, are you fucking, what's wrong with you? Cause I don't know how you can't like CTC. <laughs> yeah. So first form.com slash Derek one S T P H O R M.com slash Derek. And that's one of the ways you can support this show Owen and I, and yeah. this podcast and help us. Keep doing stuff, getting Sup- guests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doing shows. Yeah. Making and when videos. Yeah. And when, when, when we say support the podcast, we're talk about supporting me and Owen. Yep. Supporting other people. But when you I just, I, you know, like when you, when you support Owen and I, <laughs> we're just trying to feed our families. <laughs> we got you know, a lot like, of kids. Yeah, like we, like we're running these businesses and things like that, but yeah. we're just, I think I, it's funny when I realized that we are small business America, just 100%. dudes, but I didn't, you know, yeah, I, somehow no, you sort of just, different. I just somehow sort of fell into this shit. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, Oh, we're good people. Yeah. You know, like you're just trying, trying to help to people, our family, make an honest buck. So that's one of the ways you guys can support the show. Help us um, continue to be able to get information out. Yeah. Help people in need. They can also, help. Sorry. I was going to say they can also go to DerekWida.com. Yeah. And I need to be better at um, reminding yeah. people. Oh, the fucking code. I was. Yeah. Yeah. And the email. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So questions. If you guys have questions, like, so when, when we want to start doing more Q and a from the internet, there's an email. There and I'm is. very happy. Proud of the name. Savage me at DerekWida.com. That's it. Savage me. We keep forgetting to tell you guys. Savage that. me at DerekWhite.com. Write us your questions, your comments. Yeah. Um, and when we do Q and A episodes, that's where we're going to take them from. We're not going to yep. take them from anywhere else. Yeah. Not definitely not from Instagram. Savage me internet. at DerekWhite.com. <laughs> Ask anything. I don't fucking care. Um, life, military, food, fitness, supplements, parenting. You know. Things like that. Don't ask me about politics, current events, or religion, because I want to answer it. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> anything. That's that's where you can ask us questions, and and please write your questions because um, we want to. Oh yeah. Be able to answer. Yeah, I like when we get really good questions. It's, yeah, and, they're, and they're when one person good. asks one question, yep, of hundreds, yep, want that answer. Yeah, those are they're always good shows. So that's savage me at derekwhited.com. Yeah, and then on derekwhited.com, the website. Yep. 
there's a code for the listeners of this podcast. Right. It's, it's Saturday. Yep. And it'll save you 20% off all training programs. All of them. And we just released new training programs. There's two new programs and a package. Yep. So our body weight kettlebell dumbbell program, version two. Part two of the at home, at the at home program. Just came out. Yep. And then super cool. The fucking, there's a, there's a 12 week kids. Fit kids. Fit kids. 12 week fit kids. It's, and it goes, and it goes hand in hand with the at home part two. Part two. Yeah. So you don't have to have kids to do at home part two. Nope. And you don't have to do at home part two to have your kid. No. But if you are, kids. if you're both doing them, then you and your kids are doing similar movements on the same day. Yeah. So that way it's like you're doing the same workout, but not really. Yeah. We wrote that on purpose because yep. the, the first at home program, I saw a lot of kids hopping in with their parents' workouts yeah. and that can be kind of distracting. Right. Honestly, when a parent's trying to work out, it can be kind of distracting. It and so is. I was like, let's give these motherfuckers something to do. Yeah. But I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So let's you know? make these kids work. Right. How cool. But then oh, I was like, oh shit, we're teaching them about their body. Uh-huh. Teaching them how their body moves. We're teaching them about fitness, teaching them those movements like Declan. Declan's I'm like, doing it. yo, let me see your fucking yeah. dumbbell clean and press. And he shows me his dumbbell clean and press. Yeah. And he's six years old. Six. And I was like, I did not know what a dumbbell clean and press was when I was six years old. Yeah. And that's a failure of parenting. Yep. So, and then I was also, I also thought it was cool, like a 12 week program because you're, we're teaching kids. So this one is kids is age six to 12. Yeah. And you're teaching them. Um, about commitment Mm -hmm. and goal setting and discipline, right? You know, and a program of you have to do this, this day, and you follow this the next day, trusting the process and watching how you get better. So these are scalable programs too. So like my six year old is not doing, I think on day one, there's a one mile run as a warm up, and, and he's not doing the one mile run, but a 12 year old can definitely do a one mile run. So that's what, yeah. So it's like six to 12 is a huge gap in, or different right. abilities. We're scaling it, so yeah. we're we're running maybe so it's just half a smart mile. Smart scaling, and that gives you time to fucking sit down with your kid and totally. and modify it and scale their program. You work together on something, yeah, and just teaching them is it's cool. And so, like you know, the at home program is twenty bucks. Fit Kids is twenty bucks, but if you buy them together, it's thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. So you're already saving ten dollars. Use, use code Saturday to get a twenty percent off. One fifth of thirty is six. You're looking at twenty four bucks. Yep, twenty four bucks programs. for you and your kids to get in shape together. Have Super fun. fun. Yeah. Um, the code does not work for shirts. For shirts, no, it doesn't. Shirts are only fifteen bucks. Shirts There's are literally 15 bucks. no fucking margin. Nope. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all we got for today, guys. Unless you got something on. No, I got nothing. All right, cool, man. Um, that's our that's our episode on supplements. Had to be done. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you visit firstform.com slash Derek. Try some shit out. As always, I love you guys. Catch you next week.